Thank you, Joanne. Good morning, all. Meeting, I welcome you to the Broad, and we're especially delighted to welcome many of you to Los Angeles. Today has been a long time in coming, almost 50 years. Collecting TD and I has become not only a passion, but also an addiction. You know, when our walls were filled at home, we wanted to continue collecting. But just as importantly, we want to share the works in our collection with the broadest possible audience. That's why we started the Broad Art Foundation in 1984 to create a public collection and make works available by loan to museums around the world. And we've made some 8,000 loans to 500 different museums and galleries on every continent. I'm often asked why it's important for people to have access to contemporary art. The answer is simple. Contemporary art is the art of our time. It reflects an important social, political, and cultural commentary on the world in which we live. When you walk through the galleries inside, you'll see Andy Warhol's painting of Elvis, Marilyn Monroe, and Jackie Kennedy. You see Barbara Kruger's iconic painting, Your Body is a Battleground. That was a symbol of the 1980s march, Women's March on Washington. Then you'll see Robert Longo's Charcoal Drawing Police and Riot here in Ferguson, Missouri. We're delighted to offer general admission. We didn't want anyone to prevent coming because of an admission price. We hope the people come from Los Angeles and around the world to enjoy the museum and our collection. But art is only a part of the story when it comes to the world. The other part is the architecture. We knew we had a great challenge to, when we chose to set on Grand Avenue across the street from Walt Disney Concert Hall. How do you design a building that doesn't clash with Frank Gehry's masterpiece, but also is not anonymous? We found that answer in the form of Diller's Scafidi on Renfro. Under the leadership of Liz Diller, the veil and vault design enabled, enabled us to do three things. Have amazing public gallery space, consolidate the storage of almost 2,000 works in our collection, and hold our own next to Walt Disney Concert Hall. Without any doubt, DSR accomplished all three. We want to thank Liz Diller Rick Scafidio, Charles Renfro, and the entire DSR team for their vision, their work on this project. It was a terrific collaboration, and he and I could not be more pleased. Talking about architecture, nowhere in the world can you find iconic architecture within three blocks. Let me explain. You start out on Grand Avenue with the Performing Arts High School by Wolf Free the Cathedral by Rafael Mineo, the Walt Disney Concert Hall by Frank Gehry, Mocha across the street by Rita Sasaki, and now the Broad by Diller Scafidio Renfro. Edie and I want to thank Joanne Heiler, who's been with us for about 25 years and has truly embraced the challenge we gave her five years ago. We said, we want to build a museum from scratch. We want you to be the founding director, build a staff, but we want to make sure it's an engaging experience for all visitors. Now, with the opening of the road, Los Angeles has become, without question, the contemporary art capital of the world. We have more, more museum gallery space for contemporary art than any city in North America. We've got great art schools, UCLA, USC, Cal Arts, Otis, Design Center College. And Los Angeles, as you know, is a home of great artists. John Baldessari, Pat Ruscha, Robert Kruger, Mark Bradford, Mark Grosjean, Kath, 
Catherine Opie, Larry Pittman, Sterling Ruby, and the list goes on and on. And here on Grand Avenue with Mocha across the street, which I was privileged to be founding chairman way back in 1979, with Mocha, now the Brogue, visitors you can see the most comprehensive survey of modern contemporary art anywhere in the world. We're pleased to be joined by Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti. He's been a champion of Grand Avenue as a civic and cultural center for this region of 15 million people. He's been a long time supporter of our museum, of arts and culture. And I said, please give a warm welcome to Mayor Eric Garcetti.